Okay, and our athletes have made their way to the mats. As you said, this should be a guaranteed barn burner. Jansen Gomez has looked phenomenal all weekend. Really creative top game passing approaches. Uh, so athletic and nimble. Pedro Machado equally adept in all areas of the game. Strong wrestling and wrestle-ups from Pedro Machado, big part of his game. You see Jansen uh, loosen the lapel there of Machado, maybe indicating a pull is coming here. Oh, he's got a mean collar drag. Uh, we saw that earlier today. Jansen Gomez. Kind of an orthodox in his style sometimes. Hard to really put a pin on it as to exactly what he does. Is he a top player? Kind of, yeah. Is he a guard player? Kind of, yeah. He does a little bit of everything, but he doesn't do one thing that you associate with him over and over mm. other than go out there and fight really hard. Yeah, he's really well-rounded and a volume fighter. You know, hits you with a lot of different looks. Does not let you rest. See Jansen indicating... Uh, again, with that foot sweep and uh, once again also loosening the lapel. So he clearly has a strategy in mind here for Pedro Machado. Quick fake guard pull to ankle pick attempt from Jansen. Now in on a single leg. Nearly has it right on the edge of the mat. Wow. The strength of Jansen Gomez there. Yeah, he has a, he does have some really good uh, wrestling style techniques. Uh, that's for sure. He um, a mean collar drag, good at picking up the single leg. What we saw as well in a couple of his earlier matches is that he doesn't really have like... Um, like a specific guard that he likes to play. But he was able to use some really subtle sweep sweeps and just tilt sweeping his opponents off balance like so easily and just perfect timing. So uh, it was really deceptive actually because I was watching and you know I was kind of thinking okay you know I was like what's he going to do here and before you know it he's just on top. Just on top. It wasn't even like he set up a spider guard or a Hiva or a butterfly hook. No he just tilts them and just like oh, I'm on top now. It's crazy. Pedro Machado's game is a little bit different. I mean, he's just got a, just a fantastic one party game. You know, him and his uh, his close friend and, and training partner, uh, Eduardo Hockey, who competed in the lightweight division today. They've just got a really, really good one party games, and you've seen Pedro Machado do that against so many of his opponents. You know it's coming, and he still gets it. The real clash of styles, and I think that right now they're, they're really trying to figure each other out because, like I said, they've not faced each other before, I believe, in the black belt ranks. And uh, there's a little hesitancy as to who wants to pull the trigger first, huh? Well, I think Jansen's been pretty aggressive, to be honest. Uh, Pedro Machado, though, stifling him a bit. He right. has been awarded a penalty point for the conservative play. But I think Jansen just kind of warming up. He... Uh, Doing some level changes. We saw a look at an ankle pick, a drag, like you mentioned. Kind of a snap down with the collar. And Machado's yet to really commit to a, a throw or any attempt at a guard pull. He's sort of feeling out, I think, what Jansen really wants to do. Because Jansen's throwing a lot of feints. Yes. And we don't really know quite where Jansen wants to be in this match. Yeah, we're not sure where it's going, right? Does he want to play on top? Does he want to play on bottom? Oh, in on a double leg. That's good work from Jansen Gomez, but he hasn't put him down yet. He draws him back into the center of the mat. Sumigeshi attempt there from Pedro Machado. That's very close to scoring. We yeah, see two points two. on the board and right into a great passing position here. Yeah, that's a great smash pass territory. Really nice work from Jansen Gomez here. Back steps. 
nearly secures the pass with Pedro Machado looking to make a little distance here. Maybe Jansen will come back around to the side. Yeah, he does have great side-to-side -side passing, actually. Uh, he has good footwork, and you'll see him kind of go one way and force a reaction and then switch to the other. I think it makes sense as well that he keeps this um, forward pressure going on as well. I mean, usually forward pressure invites the Omoplata, and if Pedro Machado can kick his leg free, then there is a chance that he can kind of shoot it up and try to catch something. But hard to see in the grip here, but I think... I think Jansen might have his right hand on the the pant leg of uh, of Pedro Machado's right ankle, and if that's the case, it's almost like dragging it across. It's not leg drag territory, but that means there's no way that Pedro Machado is shooting that foot up for an ankle. Uh, it's shooting that uh, leg up for an omoplata, and the other leg really is in a very compromised position because it's not even an effective frame right now. The knee is pinned to the chest. Very, very strong forward pressure. And there Beautiful it is. pass. Or at least a look at one. Pedro around looking to scramble away. Yep. Jansen Gomez around the corner, hand in the back of the collar. Yeah, he is. He's going to throw Pedro Machado back down and gives, gives Machado the ability to kind of recover guard from that. If I was Jansen Gomez... I'd yeah, I mean, you want him to kind of put him down, but it may have even been better to let him go up and to actually chase the back, but... This is interesting. It is. Now we've seen a very quick turnaround. All of a sudden, Pedro Machado is close to getting the back. I think the matter witness here, if he just drags Jansen Gomez back into the oh, center... Oh, is he going for a standing lip joke? What? Standing Ezekiel. This is just... Bonkers. Oh, let's see what happens here. Well, they went out of bounds. I think the referee could call that too for a standing submission going out of bounds. I really hope it's not a DQ because if you flee the mat to the submission, you can get DQ'd. I, I, if, it is a, if it's the only way you could go in an active submission, you go out of bounds, it'll be two points for your opponent. The referees are watching the video replay right now. We have a team of assistant... Oh, it's a DQ! Oh, it's a TQ. They gave it to Jansen. Get disqualification, and that's exactly what we saw happen there. Wow. Jansen Gomez, rookie black belt, picks up his first gold medal at a major IBJJF tournament. European champ.